Get ready to dive into a righteous revolution of entertainment and enlightenment. Introducing Zion Culture, the sensational Christian video podcast hosted by the passionate sounds of Mount Zion Radio. Zion Culture is not your average podcast. It's a platform that brings Evangetainment another step closer to you. From breaking news in faith-based industry to up-close and personal interviews, from exclusive behind-the-scenes peaks to in-depth movie reviews, Zion Culture is your front row seat to the incredible stories shaping hearts and minds. Let your voice be heard as we tackle through thought-provoking topics, ignite conversations, and celebrate the faith that binds us. Whether you're a lover of Christian cinema or a gospel music enthusiast or simply seeking the truth in a world of noise, Zion Culture is your sure guide in life. Hit that subscribe button and be a part of the Zion Culture movement on social media. Zion Culture, your exclusive gospel podcast. So where was I? Oh yes, subscription. Mm. Yeah. Special thanks to everyone that has subscribed to Damla McBamelo's YouTube channel. God bless you. And uh, to those about to click it, Jesus is coming soon. There is no time. So please, click right away. And uh, if it hasn't even crossed your mind, why? Why? Over half of those watching are not subscribers. Do I have to tell you why you need to subscribe? Because... Because it doesn't... It doesn't <laughs> Getting better. Well, well, speaking of souls, I, I have a gift. Souls! Gift of souls! Souls! <laughs> souls! <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Why is Soya and his son still alive? You are supposed to eliminate him and his son. We have to pay the price for your negligence. Sir, I was told that one of the cultists arrested three years ago has been released. No force fist stopper! As if there's something on the table, just get How will just feel this blood? I'm leaving this house, Mom. I overheard your conversation with Dad. Mom, this is a slaughterhouse, not a family house. The fraternity runs on blood. Once they ask for my blood, I'm done. Then you need protection, bro. Exactly. What is this? Who put this on my table? It is a trap, sir. What is it that you know of the secrecy of the underworld? The what? I'm on it. Stay out of this, Emika. Promise me. I promise. Stop delegating. You must be at the forefront. Go and see no more. 
How is your father? Oh, he's very fine. What he told me he was in coma. Oh yeah, he, he's, he's up now. Up and standing? Up and standing, sir. <laughs> they are after you. They have representatives everywhere. And I'm sure some of them are here in this school. If God is leading you, he will anoint you for the job. I've been depressed for about a year now. My boyfriend dumped me after making me commit abortion for him five times. I know this lady. You know her? She committed suicide this morning. Suicide? Oh, it's sad. So sad. Oh no. Martins, death is knocking at your door. But if you open up to me and tell me everything you know, I can help you. I can save you. I can protect you, Mr. Martins. Sir, my story is complete and my source is legit. Just allow me to push this thing out. Your story is centered around the fraternity. The secrecy of the underworld, sir. Yes, I read it. I read it. And I'm seeing some names, some notable names, public figures connected to this court. Yes, sir. Are you sure you want to go down this lane? Sir, I've never been sure of anything like this in my life. How credible is your story? Very credible. Emeka, I smell trouble. This path you are taking is too dangerous. It's not safe. Sir, what is the essence of being an investigative journalist if I'm playing safe? <laughs> Because you have to be alive to report the news. If I don't push this out, someone else will, any moment from now. All the people you have reported are not directly connected to this fraternity. Emeka, I promise you this. If you can get Chief Duro Sonya or his son, Martins, to talk, then you have yourself the news. You mean I can push this out? Yes, you can push it, but Martins must be your main source. All others are extras. Sir, I promise you I will get him. I will get him involved. Thank you, sir. Chief, how are you feeling this morning? Well, since Jesus walked into my life, never. Never has my morning been filled with so much hope and joy. Mm. <laughs> that is the joy and hope in Christ Jesus. Mm. Wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yes. Wow. My only regret is not knowing him early enough. The devil's regret is losing you to Jesus. Um, Dad. Yes. yes. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Martins. Yes. Martins. Yeah, yes. Welcome. Yeah. I want to request that Chief Sanya bless the food. Wow. Me? Yes. <laughs> Let's pray. Our Lord Jesus, I thank you for saving me from a life of loneliness and depression. Mm -hmm. I thank you for giving me this new family where all I had was myself, my pride and arrogance. Mm. I thank you for saving me from sin mm. and death mm. and giving me a new home. Lord, I thank you for your word, which is a food to my spirit. I thank you for this food that you have provided for us to eat. I bless I sanctify it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Ah, ah. Chief, that was a powerful prayer. Yeah. Yes, yes. That was very, very powerful. Yes, it was. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you, Baba <laughs> It's just that, um, if you don't mind, I don't feel comfortable any longer with that title, Chief. Can you just simply call me 
Soya or something. No, we won't do that. Oh, okay, okay. What of Brother Soya? <laughs> See, well, I'm comfortable with Chief. You know, Chief was a title I was so proud of when all I had was money, mm. fame and power. Look at me. All that is gone now. But all that I have now is Jesus, my Lord and Savior. He is all I ever want. Wow. Hmm. Dad, I'm, I'm proud of you, Dad. Okay. Thank I'm you. so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. Thanks. I understand, but I will still call you Chief. Because you are rich. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Very Baba rich. Guru. Baba Guru. The owners of the wealth took away everything. <sighs> I am no longer rich. Yes, you are rich. You may not be rich in the worldly sense, but you are rich in Christ. You are rich in his word. That is it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> if that be the case, then you are much richer than I am. You are a billionaire. <laughs> yeah. Chief! <laughs> you always be my chief. Well, if you insist, Baba Guerrero. I insist. <laughs> <laughs> Please eat, Chief. Thank you, Nomi. Mm. God has restored Chief and given him a new family. Yes, yes, true. True to that. Martins, when will you open your heart to God? I don't understand. Mommy, may I? Yes, Daddy. You know you are our son. We have worked you for long. Every day we pray for you. But we want you to leave this house one day to your own house to start your own family. I don't understand. Are you tired of me? Is this is that what this is? Daddy, may I? Yes, please, mommy, go on. Thank you, Daddy. You see, the first family God created was in the Garden of Eden, and that was Adam and Eve. Yes. And God said to Adam, "It is no good for man to be alone." Yes. Alone, mm. loneliness, mm. singleness. Wow, I have never felt alone. You are, you are my parents. Mero is my brother. Yes. What I am trying to say is that. Mommy, me. Yes, Daddy. Uh, Martins, there are different kinds of families. We all belong to the family of Christ. But everyone, at some point, has to establish their own family. In other words, all we are trying to say is that... Martins, when are you going to get married? Ah, Chief, well put. <laughs> Straight to the point and direct. We are tired of your singleness. Ah. Daddy, too direct. Too direct, Daddy. Sorry, Mommy. All our story is perfectly encapsulated in the powerful question raised by Chief Soya. When are you getting married? When are you bringing a woman to this house? And say, Daddy, Mommy, Meet Cecilia. Why Cecilia? Who is Cecilia? <laughs> well, it is just the name that came to my mind. When will you bring Cecilia into this house and have her sit on this table? Why, mommy serve both of us with some special delicacies. And afterward, we pray for you and Cecilia. Well, I'm confused. Is there a Cecilia somewhere? Daddy? You are taking this name, Cecilia, too far. It is just a figurative name. I can imagine Cecilia and Martin having this big wedding, starting a home, having children, raising a godly family. Cecilia will have twins. Do you want a twins? 
today said twins. I, I don't get you people. What is what Cecilia now talking about twins? Where are these things coming from? Martins, you must capture the picture of your future huh? from the lens of God's word. I don't know, but your camera is too advanced for me. I don't know how to use it. Very simple. Close your eyes. No, I'm not closing my eyes. Martins, close your eyes. My foot is getting cold. I can't be closing my eyes now. Martins, close your eyes. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Throw your mind into the realm of the spirit and imagine you and Cecilia. Uh, Cecilia again? Daddy, maybe you should drop the name Cecilia. Okay, don't be scared of marriage. It is a godly thing. Mommy and I have been praying for you. We know God is about to open that chapter of your life. But you must work with him. There is a godly lady out there waiting for you. And you are here still eating mommy's food. Uh-uh. Mm, no pressure. Don't take it. Don't take it. Mm. Martins, why are you so comfortable being single? No, because I, I, well, because I, he's scared. Uh, scared of what? Martins encountered a lot as a young boy. A lot to destroy his hopes for marriage. Imagine a boy who witnessed his father kill his own mother. Now, how can such a boy confidently start his own family? Martins. Dad. I apologize for what happened earlier. Uh, no, 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 no. That, come on, please. It's nothing, Dad. No. I sincerely apologize. I ruined the mood. You know, everything was going on fine until I just jumped into the matter. But, but you were right. You said the truth. Truth? Yeah. That was a dark truth, but it's still the truth. Hmm. It was my fault, Martins. Everything was my fault. Dad, it's all in the past. Please, no, let's, let's, let's forget about it. <clears throat> it's all in the past. But that's how we heal. When we bring it all up, yeah, it helps us to heal. When we bring up those things, matters, issues of the past. I'm so sorry, Martins. I wish I could bring back the years. That's the part that hurts me the most. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, son. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We no longer have the past in our hands. But we can hand over the future over to God. We can make something beautiful. Something beautiful come out of it. He is a God of restoration. The Bible says in Isaiah 43, verse 18 to 19. Say, do not dwell on the past. Hmm. Say, see, I am doing a new thing, and now it springs up. I'm making a way in the wilderness hmm. and rivers in the wasteland. These are the promises of God for you, Dad. Hmm. Really? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. See, Dad, oh. whenever the devil reminds you of your past, 
and to remind the devil of your future in God's word. Wow. Yes. Wow. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Appreciate the noise. Thank you. Thank you. Now, may I ask you a question? What is that? Martins. Sir? When are you getting married? Dad. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> you have not eaten since yesterday. Are you fasting? I can't live with myself, Dad. I can't. <laughs> Why? Some days ago, in school, a lady walked up to me. Okay. She told me she was depressed. All she needed was the word. I, I, I knew it deep in my heart that I should preach to her. Yeah. But I delayed. I, I was busy with my campaign and election. So, where is she now? I, I, have you not preached to her? It's too late. It's too late. Too late. Why? She committed suicide. Hey! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <sighs> I feel good. I feel good. <laughs> Dele, God is merciful and forgiving. If you come to him with a repentant heart, he will forgive you. <laughs> ah. and if, if, if I was not running around for election and, and campaign, that girl's life would have been saved. <laughs> really? <laughs> the problem was not because you were running for an election. The problem was that you kept God in a box why you were pursuing your ambition. The Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and every other thing will be added unto you. But you were busy seeking every other thing and kept the kingdom of God aside. Whenever God gives His children platforms, it's for His own glory. But you turned your own platform into an idol. Matthew chapter 5. Let me read what it says to you. What it says. Matthew chapter 5 from verse 13. Look at it. He say, You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost its savour, wherewith shall he be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and be trodden under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on an hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it give a light unto all that are in the house. Daily, look at verse 16. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. Dele, henceforth, let your light shine before me. Dad, please pray for me. Please pray for me. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus. 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 Mercy, Lord. The Bible says that mercy triumph over judgment. Mercy. 
over your son, Lord. We have all failed to bring Sonia down, which has created a loophole. But the forces of the air, the forces of the land, and the forces of the sea have decided to spare our lives upon one condition, that we sacrifice our blessed sea. Ah, 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 Silence! Ah, Silence! How can you be so? Silence! There is no point protesting in the secret. Is there anyone who is ready to go against the order and instruction of the morning star? And the instruction of the elders holding the three tier forces? Let him step forward. Agent Baba today, are you sure you want to do this? We have a colleague who has gone rogue and nothing was done to capture him. Instead, we have to sacrifice our children, our beloved children. Yes, I want to protest. We have been so faithful and loyal. We don't deserve this. Yes. Ah. If you are in agreement, step forward. Don't be a coward. Stand up and fight for your rights. Any other person? Any other protester? Good. Morning Star. Receive your sacrifice. Blood of Jesus! Jesus! Blood of Jesus! Jesus! Blood of Jesus! Jesus! Bero! Daddy? Matthias! Where are you going? We need to wake them up for prayers. Bero does not live here. What is going on? Mommy? Daddy? Hey, there is a fierce battle approaching. What I saw was no good at all. Will it be a nightmare? It is not just a nightmare. It is a revelation. <sighs> Bero is not at home. <sighs> he is not, Daddy. He is not. Let me wake Martin, sir. It is late. There is a fierce battle going on. They are gathering. It's, 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 it's late. Be calm. They are gathering. <sighs> Mommy? They are gathering. They are gathering. Beyond they shall surely gather together. Hmm? But not by me. Yes. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Yes, amen. Beyond I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. Yes. And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. Mm. And I have created the waster to destroy. Yes. But no weapon. Mm. No weapon. Yes. No weapon yes. that is formed against thee shall prosper. Amen. And every tongue that rises against thee shall be condemned. Amen. Now that hear this, hear this. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. Amen. And their righteousness is of me, said the Lord. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus, we yes. claim this. Yes. This shall be our portion Amen. in Jesus. Amen. They're gathering. I saw it. I saw it too. And you know, I love you so much. Yeah, um, you're my life, you're my joy, my delight. You are you're my everything. Yeah, I love you too. You're my darling, I mean, I love you. Like seriously. <laughs> I'm emotional right now. <laughs> Who's calling you? <clears throat> my dad, he's always calling at the wrong time. But he wants to talk to you. But we're in a special moment and he's going to ruin it. He's not. He will. He's not. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, should we bet on this? Okay, how much? Uh, well, um, maybe you're going to pay 10% of our lunch today, right? Pick your father's score. <laughs> I will. Your Excellency. I'm coming in just a moment. Uh, 
Hello, Dad. Biru, we have to embark on a three days fasting and prayers for this family. And Eniola must join. Good evening, Dad. How are you? I small. Do you understand what I've just said? Daddy, I'm busy at the moment. When I get home, we'll talk about it. We are talking about it now, Benro. I saw a raging battle approaching. And we must not lose our guard. Please, it is important. And Eniola must join. She should not be left exposed. It is a raging battle. Very fierce battle. Dad, why are you always having revelations of battles and wars? It is not what I want to have. But it is what God keeps swimming. me. Please, give yourself some rest. There is no battle anywhere. The only battle is the one you're creating in your mind. Beiru, how can you say that to me? It is the fact. Beiru, so you don't trust my spiritual insights anymore. All these years, I have been guiding you, mentoring you, leading you in the right path. Now that you want to marry, you don't feel that I'm no longer important? Dad, the Bible says that a man shall leave his father and his mother and cleave to his wife, and they will become one flesh. I'm sorry, Dad, for fulfilling the scripture. Beiru, I'm not asking you not to leave this house and stay with your wife. What I'm saying is this. You should obey the warnings and the instructions of God for your home and marriage. I've had you, Dad. Beiru, it is not enough to hear. But you must obey the warnings of God, please. I have had you. So when are you bringing her so that we can pray together? I'm afraid, Dad. I'm not sure that's going to happen. We have a lot to do as regards the wedding preparations. Binro. 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 I am listening, Dad. Don't be a fool. Seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all other things shall be added unto you. Please, let's talk about this later. I have to go now. <sighs> okay. We'll talk later, Dad. Talk later. Mm -mm. Oh, um, you're done? Yeah. So, when am I getting my 10%? What did he say? Oh, <laughs> as soon as I picked this call, the first thing he said was three days fasting and prayer. Straight up? Straight up, baby. No hello, no how are you? <laughs> that was my line. <laughs> anyway, I don't think it's a bad idea. He just wants us to join him for fasting and prayer. No way. I'm not going to be ensnared by fear. I mean, but as believers, he's asking us to fast and pray. I don't think too much of that can, is a bad idea. Say, you don't know my father. Honestly, see, my father is always looking for wars and battles to fight. I mean, I need to prove to him that life can be simple, especially when you have faith in God. Look at the millionaires out there now. They aren't praying or fasting, yet they are living the large life, you know, enjoying the moment with their families. But then my father is always running away from the good life. Hmm. In fact, I think maybe he's addicted to poverty or something. Biru. Because when any beautiful thing happens to him, he's always looking for the bad he needs. Biru, don't talk like that about your father. But it's the truth. The other day I bought him a car. To say a simple thank you was very difficult for him to say. Can you imagine how many children can boast of buying their, their parents a vehicle? But he still said thank you. You need to see how my father was all over him. Ah, like he sees problem in everything. He, he sees pleasures as, as sin. I don't want him to influence my marriage, honestly. I don't. Influence me not my marriage. I just want to enjoy life to the fullest with you. I say a big amen to that. Yeah. And a toast. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually nice. Maybe you should try the chicken.
Veronica, please come into my office now. This, this again. This again. I am sorry, sir. Why are you sorry? Why you keep doing the same thing over and over again? I was led to do it. Led by who? He, he, he asked me to... He told me to do it and I couldn't resist. Let me guess. God, right? Look. Veronica, I have a lot of honor and respect for you. But sometimes you say things that are void of, you know, sense and logic. I am sorry. You know how much I hate bringing religious things around my space. Yet you taunt me with the very same things I despise. Why do you keep doing these things? Why? I had a dream, sir. It was a threatening one. I saw a black figure dragging you to an endless journey. Then I saw Jesus calling out to you, but you refused to yield to his call. I have been very nice to you, haven't I? Yes, you have. I have appealed to your logic. I have done everything a good boss should do, haven't I? Yes, you have. I don't want you to die, sir. I am well fortified, Veronica. I don't need anyone reminding me how close that is. You are fired! Your life is more important to me than this job. My life is in my hands and I will keep it safe. But what about the dream, sir? Veronica, you are like a mother to me. You care too much. I understand your dreams. I can relate to them, but I'm well fortified. That thing on your face can't keep you safe, Mr. Ake. It only makes you look stupid. Ah, ah, Veronica! But it is the truth. If your friend won't tell you, I will tell you. Jesus is your only refuge. No one can fortify you. Veronica, trust me, I'll be safe. If you need someone to pray for you, I am here. You know what got you fired? I know. What? The traps. No. It's the love. You care too much. Sometimes I don't even know why. Well, now that I'm fired, I can boldly say, give your life to Jesus before it is too late. It's always about the Jesus thing for you, right? Yes, it is. No wonder you don't fit in here. I'll be praying for you, sir. We got it. Yeah, yeah, we bro. Guess what? I just fired the runner. Um <laughs> that sounds alright. So guess what? What? We just won a multi-million naira contract. We've been pursuing this for the past two years. Your dad tried fought all he could in his days to get it and now it's on your laps. We, we, we got it. We, we, we got it. Bro, what's going on? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. We're talking about a multi-millionaire contract here. We should be over the moon about this, rejoicing. I shouldn't have fired her, bro. I shouldn't have. Are we still talking about um... Veronica? I thought we have moved on with this old woman. What is it with you and this old woman? She has always had my back. Always mm -hmm. looking out for me. Always trying to make sure I'm all right. That I'm in a good mood. You know, I came to work one day and 
I came so early, I came early before everyone was around and I came into the office I saw this woman praying for me. I was praying for God to favor me, praying for God to protect me. Father, I pray, O oh God, that you give me no negativity of life, O oh God. Not save him, O oh God, from every evil. Every evil arrow around his life. Not save him, O oh God. He was more than a secretary. This woman was God sent. She was like a mother I never had. Then, why did you fire her? Can you imagine? Just to prove a point. Look, I have to get her back. Get the phone. Give me my phone. Don't be stupid. Excuse me. I said don't be stupid. You're the second person calling me stupid this morning. It almost makes me wonder who is the boss here. You mean... Someone else has called you stupid today? Yeah. Ha. Huh. Such a person needs to be fired. Veronica did. She said the thing on my face is stupid. Well, she's already fired. She's in the past. So let's move on. I'm sure that there are other applicants waiting in line to take her role. You don't understand. She's different. She was like a mother to me. That was not part of her job description. She had overreached her boundaries. Ah. It's a good thing she's gone. Hmm. Bro. This is a mistake. I need to correct it. The only mistake we made here was giving her the job at the first instance. Banjo, please. Ah. Bro, the future is bright. We have a multi-millionaire contract to rejoice about. We've got to celebrate. <sighs> okay. So tell me, are you up for the club tonight? Do I have a choice? That's my guy! That's the Aki I know. Come on now. So we'll see you tonight now. You have some questions to answer. You have the guts to step into my house? You may frighten other people, but I'm not moved or scared by you. I am not obligated to answer any of your questions. Mr. Gbadi, you may have bribed your way out of prison, but you can never bribe your way out of my radar. Mm. Why did you get Commando out? Why don't you ask your superiors why they released him? It is you that I am asking, Mr. Gbadi. I'm asking you. The next time you step into my house will be your last. You are threatening the wrong person. I can see how wrong you are. Don't push me, officer. Don't push me. Or else what? You have no idea what I'm capable of. Mr. Gbadi. I have seen what you are capable of doing and I'm not impressed. <laughs> How is your son? You see, a word of advice. You see, keep being the good mother that you are. Take care of your son and let me handle my business. All right? There are kingdoms in this world But we belong to the kingdom of heaven There are powers in this world But we have the power of the Almighty There are forces in this world 
Mr. Martins. Mr. Maker, I thought by now you would have given up on me. Sorry, I cannot. What do you want exactly? And don't tell me you want to protect me because that would be the end of this conversation. I'm sorry, you don't need protection for someone like me. So what do you want? I have the questions, but I need answers. Mr. Maker, have you ever written an exam before? Of course I have. Then you should know that this is your exam and I'm not ready to write it for you. The world needs to hear the truth. No, no, you want to sell the truth. I want to sell the truth for money. You are hungry for content and I'm not ready to feed you. Come on, life, lives are at stake here and all you want to do is to, 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 to gather patronage and traffic. I'm not going to give you that privilege. I will not. See, these people have been operating for years. And if they keep on doing this, more people will die. Why can't you see things for the way it is? Emeka, Emeka, listen to me. Exposing them will not keep them quiet. It won't. Why? I'm done answering your questions. Mr. Martins, I will get answers to my questions either ways. But all I'm begging is for you to contribute to my research. Get your hands off me. Get your hands off me. Now listen, Mr. Mika, listen to me. Research on what gives life, not death. Mr. Mattis, I will get answers to my questions. Either you like it or not, I will. You know, the book of Colossians 3.23 encourages us to work on the Lord with all, with all of our heart. Now, brothers and sisters, we are not working for man in this fellowship. We are working for God. So I want to encourage you, brothers and sisters, not to be slack in doing good. As I ensure that what oh wow, look who we have here today. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to introduce to you our one-time president in this fellowship, Oda Daily Adegola. Thank you. May the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we'll be going to a moment of worship. Um, can we jam our hands for Jesus as I invite Sister Liz? Praise God! Hallelujah! Praise the living Jesus! Hallelujah! Shall we be on our feet as we bless the name of God? Bless and joy for his food. So, what brings the almighty delay to our midst today? Shh, what ship is going on? Don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Is this one of your campaign strategies to also come and woody Christians for your election? Nicholas, can I worship God? Yeah, sure. One last question. How often are we going to be seeing you? Or oh, this is a one off thing. these instructions seriously. I mean, why are you so, why are you suddenly so antagonistic and uh, unbecoming? Why being rude? Dad, when I was a child, I acted as a child. I spoke as a child. I reasoned as a child. But now, I'm a man. But you are still acting, reasoning, and talking like a child. Is it because I refused an instruction that does not fit into my programs and schedule? These instructions are not my instructions. They are from God. I've said it over and over. Dad, I'm a man, a son to be husband. And by the grace of God, I'm going to be a father in the nearest future. But can you please, for once, trust me by allowing me to take my own decision? Please, be wrong. I have no issue with trusting you. But I have a big issue with your pride. Hmm. It will lead to your downfall. Dad, are you praying for my downfall? I never. I will never. <laughs> If Martins were to be here now, you wouldn't have said that. Oh, Martins is the perfect picture of a child you never had. But for me, the opposite is the case. You're always on my matter. <laughs> Nothing I do is perfect. There's always one issue or the other. <sighs> Enough of all this comparison being wrong. Eh? 
you are my son and nothing, I repeat, nothing can change that. Biro, do you know that I love you? <laughs> I do. <laughs> then, don't downplay the significance and importance of this instruction because of your disregard for me. Dad, you're my father. I can never disregard you. Why would I do that? Then where is my honor? Where is my honor? Is it because we do not agree on this matter? Is that, is that why you feel that I am dishonoring you? So, Dad, we can't join you in this fasting. There is a lot going on at this period. I have a wedding to plan for God's sake. I'm not the one asking you to fast and pray. It is an instruction from God. I am a full grown man. I can hear God for myself. I'm not disputing that. Well, if God wants me to fast and pray, he will tell me to fast and pray. In the flesh. <laughs> Good afternoon, daddy. The man who spat to the face of death, the walking ghost himself, Duro Sonya. What do you want? To show you the way out. There is no way out for us, Sonya. You have kept us in the cage of death. And the only key that can unlock that cage is the blood of our children. That cannot be. That should not be. The blood of our children are in your hands, Sonia. I have no daughter because you killed her. And I, now I have to sacrifice my innocent son. Daddy, if I show you the way, Will you take it? There is no way out, Sonia. There is no way out. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. I tell you, he can save you just like he saved me. I can't pay the price you paid, Sonia. I can't. No, no, just look at yourself. Your fame is gone. Your honor is gone. Your glory is gone. Your money is gone. You have lost everything. You are a shadow of yourself. You have nothing. I have everything. I have peace. I have the joy of Jesus Christ. I have his word, which to me is more precious than silver or gold. I have Jesus Christ living inside of me. That day, you can have him too. Know this, Sonia. Once we pay the price, everything we have will be restored. Our honor, our glory, our fame, our money, everything will be restored. And we are coming for you with everything we have. You're going down, Sonia. You're going down. Hmm. I was down. And yet, he picked me up. He snatched me from the grips of death because he holds the key to life and death. Sonia, we are coming for you. No. I am coming for you, not to show you death, but to show you the life that's in Christ Jesus. And I will not rest until each and every one of you surrenders his life to Jesus and confesses him as his Lord and Savior. You may run from me, but I will chase you. I will chase all of you unto the ends of the earth. Listen, buddy, you know me. You know what I am capable of. I do not rest until I get what I want. Mm. So you tell your brothers, they better start running because I will come for you all with everything. Get ready for me. Get ready for Jesus. Is that a threat? Actually, it's more than a threat. No blood! No glory! No blood! No glory! No blood! No glory! Through the blood.
blood of Jesus Christ his son. I have seen his glory and you will see it too. So it took the death of a lady to bring you back? Well, I'm back now and that's all matters anyway. <laughs> So, what about your political ambition? Are you opting out? Well, no, I'm not opting out. But I'm going into this election taking Jesus with me. Hmm. If I win, I win. And if I lose, I lose. Ultimately, the will of God will be done. But I'm not going to allow this election tamper with my identity. I'm a child of God. And henceforth, I will put his work first, and every other thing will follow. Every other thing will follow. Wow. I, I really love this transformation. You know, Boradile, you started this fellowship, mm -hmm. and ever since you left, it has not remained the same again. Ever since you left, we well, thank you to God, was... you are back. Well, we thank God. <laughs> we thank God. Um, sorry, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes. Um, I'm looking for Mr. Dilly, um, the founder and president of the yes, fellowship. Yes, this is Mr. Dilly, the okay. founder and the president of our fellowship. Okay. You know, he, he ran away due to political ambitions, but by the message of God, he's back. And I am Nicholas, the vice president that has been manning the fellowship ever since he led the fellowship in Sorry. Good afternoon, sir. Good, good afternoon. Yes, sir. How can I help you? Yes, uh, my name is Joe. Okay. I need your help. Okay. You know, for some, for some days now, I haven't seen my ex-girlfriend in my dream. Uh -uh. She, she's always trying to kill me. I woke up miserable and I've not, be, I've not been able to do anything worthwhile with my life. I, I, I feel like I'm running mad. Uh -uh. Where, where is she now? I mean your girlfriend, where is she now? She's dead. It was a suicide. Suicide, uh-uh. What's her name, if I may ask? Her name... Her name is Melody. Melody? Yes. Melody? Barry, can you imagine? I have been online watching different kinds of coffins. Barry, is that how I'm going to lose my baby girl? My angel, my princess? Is that how I'm going to lose her? I'm sorry, my brother. I'm sorry. She is innocent. She is innocent, buddy. She's about to get married. Her mother told me that she's bringing the man home to see me today and I will just be communicating and speaking to a girl that is about to die in a few days time. I can't take this anymore. I can't take this. Be strong, my brother. Be strong. You know, you're not the only one in this. My only son, a very brilliant boy, a rising star. It too will we also die. We also die. I've lost one child already. I will soon be losing another one. Now, who will continue my legacy? I, I have only two children. I, I, I'm just a shadow of myself. Buddy. Is there no solution to all this? Is there no solution? <sighs> you were there. You were there. Those who stood up to fight for their children lost their lives right before our very eyes. You saw it. So we are stuck. Yes, my brother. Uh -huh. I saw Sonia today. Eh? You saw Sonia? The living or the ghost? He's very much alive, Kolapo. What does he want? Ah, 
He has joined the faith of his son. He came to initiate me. Why didn't you stick a knife into his throat? And all our problems would have been over. Eh? Eh? Is I a joke to you? The holy man, the grandmaster, cannot defeat? Touching him is touching my time in death. My dear. Yes, dear. They are here. Oh, okay. Sweetie, I'm coming. I'll join you very soon. Okay, please, don't be long. Okay, I won't. I won't. I won't. Um, buddy, I'll call you back. Huh? I'll call you back. Bye for now. Ah. <sighs> ah. <sighs> They're very lovely people, trust me. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> I've informed Daddy that you are here. So you will soon join us. Oh, thank you, thank ma. You, thank you, ma. You're so welcome. Thank you, ma. Good to see you. Are you shy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> for what? Mommy, you're looking good. Thank you. You're not bad, too. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. Ah, Daddy, I've missed you. How are you? I'm fine. Daddy, you're looking tired. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, Benro. Yes, sir. Benro, sir. Mm -hmm. How are you? You are welcome. Yes, sir. I hope you are taking good care of my daughter. <laughs> my dear, they are not married yet now. <laughs> She's still our baby girl. Yes, <laughs> I am. Uh. <laughs> You will have to excuse me. You will have to excuse me. Daddy, where are you going? I want to get something upstairs. I'll be back soon. When is that you? I hope so. Never mind. Please, sit. <laughs> Thank you. Mom. No problem. Eh? Everything is okay. All right. Mom. Yeah. <laughs> How is mommy and daddy? Yeah, they are doing fine. They are doing That's fine. Good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My baby girl, my baby girl, my baby girl. <laughs> what have I done? My princess, my angel, what have I done? <laughs> See your sister. Tell her I'm sorry. Club is banging. Just tell me you're your way. Bajo, Bajo, I just had a terrible dream. What? My father was about killing me, Banjo. Aki, it's just a dream. Forget about it. Banjo, my, yeah, my chest is paining me. The dream was so real. I've never had this kind of dream before. It was so real. My father stabbed me in the chest. I woke up and now my chest is hurting. Ah, ah, bro, don't be ridiculous. It is probably a heartburn. Heartburn? Heartburn, Banjo? Can you hear yourself? Come over here, bro. Let's lap it off. The ladies are waiting. Ladies, say hi. Hi! You see what I'm saying? They are dying to see you. And I'm dying here, bro. I wish I didn't sack Mrs. Veronica. Are we back to this case again? I thought we have moved on. I can't, Banjo! Death is knocking at my door! Then don't open! Oh. 
Pancho, Pancho. What? Good evening, sir. What is it? There's someone downstairs who wants to see you. Who is it? He didn't mention his name. All right, I'm coming. Who are you, please? Hello, Akin. My name is Sawyer. Chief Duro Sawyer. There are hopes and dreams in the heart of every man. There is a desperate wanting for one thing or the other. Jealousy, envy, and hatred fill the air. It is nothing compared to what we are yet to uncover. But as for people of God standing on a new reality, the solid rock that never fails, far beyond the darkness and over all principalities, and far beyond the present evil that we see. We are the light of the world. We are the salt of the earth. We have been saved by the blood. That is in the heart of every man It is meant for God But they go for one thing or another Riches, fame and power Are the only gods they know The sky is grey I see the gathering of the vultures But we belong to the kingdom of heaven